Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. Today is March 7th, 2023, and it's just beautiful out, sunny. It's about 36 above right now, and I think it's probably even going to get a little warmer today. And then after today, I think it's supposed to get kind of cloudy and some snow coming again. It's supposed to stay in the 30s, but just more gloomy, so kind of taking advantage of this nice day. Um, what we're going to do, I got a few odd jobs to do today, but stuff that needs to get done. First thing we're going to do, I got um, some calves in these outside calf hutches here. And they're just getting too big for them. They're all weaned off of milk, so, and they've been on grain and water now for quite a while. So they're big enough to go up to the next group up in the top barn. So we have, I believe there's there's four calves here. There's three of them that can go up there. And then I have one in the pens in the barn that can also go up there. And then there is one that's out here. He's, he just got weaned. So I don't want to put him in with that group yet. But, um, so I'm going to move him into the pens in the barn just to kind of consolidate the calf chores because it's kind of a pain to have to come over here for just one calf. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get set up here. Um, Jordan is going to be helping me and... Jason's over there helping out as well, so I should have plenty of help. What you doing? Digging a hole? Uh huh. Uh huh. A big hole? A big hole? Oh, good. Oh, oh, you fell down. Uh oh. <laughs> got those three in there now I'm gonna load up this one that we got in the hut here the smaller one I'll put him in the back half of the trailer and then we'll bring him over to the barn and then we can swap him out with the one in there that's gonna go up with these three so we'll get him moved and we'll head over to the barn Make the step. There you Next go. One. Next one. Next side up. Come on. Come on. I don't have enough room to back up. There we go. Oh. All right, they're all loaded. Bye. 
On to the barn. All right, we're here in the back of the barn. These are our calf pens here. We've got uh, just calf tail. I uh, really like these pens. They're easy to clean. They're, you know, you can, they're portable. If you want to take them down and clean better, you can, or move them to a different area. Um, they work really well. The only issue I really have with them, and I think they've maybe changed the design on the newer ones, is this latch. Sometimes if this latch gets loose or worn a little bit, they can get it flipped open. You can see surprise there. That's what she's doing now. She's figured out that she can lick that latch and pop the door open. <laughs> As you see, she just did. And she's the one that's going to be getting moved anyway. She's getting plenty big for this stall. So, and she's been weaned long enough. She can go up with them other ones. So we're going to take her out of here put in with the mothers and bring that smaller one and put in here. Um, normally, if I was putting a baby calf, like a newborn calf into this pen, I would totally clean this pen out and scrub it down, disinfect it and all that. But since we have an older calf going right in here, um, I, there's no, I don't have any need really to do that. Her pens, it's clean and dry. They get cleaned regular and stuff. So um, I don't think there'll be any issue with that. But like I said, if it was a newborn one, they don't really have a good immune system and stuff. They can pick up a lot of different stuff. So, so we're going to do that. And then we'll haul that bunch up to the top barn, let them out. Mm -hmm. And then actually what I'm going to do, I think, as long as we're up there, I have this area here between this final pen and the wall. I have some more of these pens up in the top barn. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like them up there. It's just out of the way to take care of calves. So... I'm going to put one more pen in this corner, so we'll probably get that done, and uh, then we'll have an extra pen in here. I have put calves in here before. I got a hook in the corner that I just tie them to, but I don't like tying them. I like to have them in a, in a pen like this, so that's what we're going to do now. We'll get a halter on her, and we'll get them switched around. If you can just hold them in there, I'll grab the door. green bucket back in there and get him some fresh water. Sure. There, got that switched around. Now we will uh, haul them up, let them out in the other pen, and uh, move on to the next project. Charlie, there you go. Charlie, 
Well, there, got them out here. Definitely excited to be running around. I've got some other calves that are up here. I've got them locked in the barn right now. Um, just because I wanted to be able to have the gate open without having to worry about them getting out. So they're not alone up here. Okay, we're in the barn now onto our next project. Uh, me and Jordan brought a calf pen down from the top barn there. So I want to get that put in here. I got this spot cleaned out. This stuff on the floor is just some... I had a bag of lime here that had broke apart. and So I just spread it out there because it was all wet and clumpy. So got all the old manure cleaned out of there and everything. So we're going to get this put together. Well, there we go. They're pretty simple to put together. Like this one pin is a little bit bent, so it went in a little hard, but not a big deal. But I, uh, I don't know. I really like these things, and I know there's different brands. This is the only one I've ever used, so maybe some are better than others. But um, these are a lot better than what we had originally. There was wooden pens in here. My grandpa had made when he built this addition on, and they were nice pens. They had headlocks and stuff. Um, they were really nice, but they were kind of group pens. And I know everybody push it, is pushing to go back to having your calves grouped together, but when we did, we had a lot of calves that would try nursing on the other calves, and that wound up... I mean, we had the wiener rings in their noses and stuff, and still wound up with a lot of heifers coming in with two-quartered, three-quartered, and that seemed to pretty much taken care of that by having the individual pens, so... As long as we can use them, that's what we're going to do. But anyway, the ones that were in here, they were wood. And we had a lot of trouble with scours and stuff at that time. And once we got rid of those wood pens, it seemed like that made a huge difference. So let's kind of go with what works best, I guess. And they've been working good for us. So anyway, we're going to get chores rolling now. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.